I'm Dr. Joel Ray. I'm a clinician scientist uh, at St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto and also an adjunct scientist at the Institute for Clinical Evaluative Sciences, also in Toronto. Um, we have fortunately published a study in JAMA looking at the safety of magnetic resonance imaging or MRI in pregnancy. And this study looked at about 1,700 pregnancies with MRI in the first trimester and about 400 pregnancies with gadolinium contrast MRI at any point in pregnancy. And we followed these pregnancies for various outcomes that included stillbirth and neonatal death, birth defects, cancer, and also vision loss and hearing loss. And what we found with first trimester pregnancy is that there was no increased adverse outcome noted with that first trimester MRI compared to no MRI. And these children were followed up to four years of age maximum. For gadolinium enhanced MRI, we did note a slightly higher risk of stillbirth or neonatal death with gadolinium enhancement, but the number of events was actually quite few. For the specific outcome of nephrogenic systemic fibrosis, that was very rare and we saw no higher risk. For the rather nonspecific outcome that attempted to look at a broad array of rheumatological and dermatological conditions arising in childhood, we did see that that outcome was both common and slightly higher among those who had exposure to gadolinium in pregnancy. But we can't be sure that those conditions that were placed under that broad array of outcome were really reflective of gadolinium exposure itself. This study also establishes that about one in 250 pregnancies has MRI performed and in other countries or other settings, it might be a little more common or a little less common, but still tells us that in the modern era when imaging of a woman's brain or spinal cord or other deep structures cannot be done with ultrasound, we have a choice between MRI and CT scan, and MRI overall, especially when done without gadolinium, provides excellent images and at the same time a sense of safety. We also are proud that our study was able to mix the expertise at St. Mike's Hospital with the Institute for Clinical Evaluative Sciences to use large population-based information to ask a clinically important question for practitioners and parents and to arrive um, at a reasonable set of conclusions that can hopefully update our knowledge base about MRI in first trimester of pregnancy and gadolinium exposure at any point in pregnancy, while we at the same time hope that more information can come along to either um, support or dispel some of the um, findings that we have in this current JAMA paper.